really need too much quartz. Whatever. Let's fill up. And now let's go inside. Let's get up to the old Cyclops. Oh, no. Not that guy. Uh-oh. I got stunned. I'm back. Okay. I need to get out of here. Where's my ship? There it is. <laughs> I know. I'm going to get pulled over by the police with all these blood bags. Ori, and that's it. I think you're right about that, John. That's a good point. Like, that you could basically just expedite... Oops, I crashed into my own ship. That's embarrassing. You could expedite the water filtration as well if you needed it by sleeping. Anything like that, yeah. Not bad, Nate. Not bad indeed, my friend. Okay. So, let me hit my storage... I mean, the fact that I was thinking to myself that it was nice that they gave you all this storage down here, but if you're legit telling me that I can build more storage lockers, that has just blown my mind. It was shocking. Good one, Derekai. You're never going to kill me with these puns because I like them. Keep them coming. Hey, no worries. I'm playing on console. I'm playing on uh, PS5 here. So, if I... I think I'm going to have to ask you guys to walk me through this process. Let me equip my uh, habitat builder. Let me climb up. It is crazy that this is a 2014 game and that it still gives joy and surprise. I don't know about that, John. So if I build... The only grow bed I know how to build, I believe, is this indoor grow bed. Or, like, these potted plants. But what kind of stuff... Oh, I can build the aquarium, too, for the eggs. Ah, <laughs> very good, Derekai. Rattling them off, one by one. A Pisca cat would be so proud. Um, what can I actually grow in these, though? I, I haven't figured out what types of plants I can grow. Okay, and let me look at my inventory. I'm pretty good. I can drink this water. All right. I'm going to need to build a fabricator so I can make food on the go. That that right there is enough of an incentive for me. So I'm going to go back home and get a bunch of titanium. Whoa, whoa, here we go. You know what? The floating island, I don't believe I've been to yet, unless that's the place where you go to get the, you know, you to turn off the, the laser or whatever, where the sunbeam gets shot down. So, should I go back to that island, then, that I found with, like, the coconuts or whatever? I will. We can do that. Let me start getting the, the uh, Cyclops ready for long-range travel, though. 
Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. I have to do a self-scan to see about my... Um, infection. X-Term? That's actually a pretty good name, Ori. I like it. The place with the cannon? Okay, I can go back there. There was a... Wasn't there a beacon close to that place? I think that's how I found it in the first place. And there was, like, smoke over it. Am I thinking of the right place? Oh, I've got the multi-purpose room, Nate. You, you better believe it. It's like every room inside my habitat is a multi-purpose room that I build off the, off the main drag or whatever. I sounded the horn. Letting everyone, everywhere know that we're out of control. That this Cyclops can't stop. Okay. Yeah, I haven't found any island but the initial island yet. I have to do some more exploring. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Perfect. Let me exit. And then... I'm going to try to get as much stuff as I can from storage... ...that I might need. Okay. Uh, I have two titanium, which is not horrible, but not enough to do something like build a fabricator, right? Ah, it's actually pretty close. Gold table coral. I got most of that. Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Let me find that sweet table coral. Where are you? There it is. But I need my knife. Can't do much without the old blade. Get it. Hack it to pieces. Okay. This is good. This is a good start. Oh my god, Derek Hi, they love it. it. Whenever I park the ship over here, they're all over my stuff. It's maddening, I tell you. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's a good point, Nate. I, let me read the information about LifePod 19 again. Second Officer Keen's last broadcast location. Yeah, this is where I need to go. <laughs> I like it too, Lance. Isn't it nice? It's so much fun 
Lance, because it's like you feel, at least I do, a tremendous sense of progress and growth when you are no longer just a person in like a swimsuit doing scuba diving and you have these like massive vehicles to work with. It's great. I can't be out of quartz, am I? What happened to me? I used to be made of quartz. Boy, yeah, I'm almost out. Okay. So then, let me go over into my Cyclops. Nah, it's no worries, because, I mean, honestly, what I like to think about it is, to <laughs> Duel of the Fates is so appropriate. It's just like if I was playing the game with friends, and, you know, my friends had played it before, and they're like, dude, did you make it to the island? Like, it's, it's really not a big deal. I should have read the log further about it. Look, I bet I can look at right over here. Um, Aurora Survivors, um, Life Pod 19. No, I, I, maybe I didn't even get to Life Pod. Maybe I missed Life Pod 19 because I don't have the. Or codes and clues. No. Yeah, that's the worst kind, where people are like, hey, this is how you beat the game, or this is the ending of the game. A gentle reminder about something I should have already discovered is not bad. All right, let me put a fabricator in here. And I'm going to want this near the front of the ship, right? So I'm just going to put it right here. And bam, now we have a fabricator on our Cyclops. This is fantastic. I can't believe I can do this. Uh, let me then make some other stuff. So we're going to use this. Uh, we can put in a med kit fabricator is a good idea. A uh, The big locker is great. Okay. Bam. Yeah, you're right about that, John. All right, let me just store a bunch of stuff now in here. And we can use this later. But this is what we're about to do. I want to go back to... I'm going to track LifePod19... And we're going to head for it. I'm going to uh, mark it as red. I'm going to turn off that. And we're going to go for it. Let's head over there and see what happens. Oh, wow. I, got, I forgot about the headlamps on this baby. All right. Let's do this. Get all the way up. Oh, oh my god. What's that? By the way. Oh, you know what? I think it's just some... Uh, I'm getting I'm getting my ship stuck on this. Some of these coral tubes are like way high up. I think that's just a coral... Let me go check that out. Oh god. I'm getting my ship stuck on this stuff. The Cyclops does not appreciate this region of the map. Hmm. 
Let me see if I can swing it. Oh, God. I'm getting stuck. What a disaster. I just, I'm just backing up at this point. My poor Cyclops. All right. Let's try to do it this way. So, oh, look at all this wreckage. All that debris just chilling. I'm going to curl around. God, this is a little bit ridiculous. I'm going to curl around the other way, I guess, and try not to get stuck. Oh, man, wouldn't that be awful? That would just destroy your ears if all you heard was the endless scraping of my Cyclops. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's pray that we can make it this way. This looks good. Here we go. Oh, God. Did I get stuck again? I'm getting pulled down. Huh. There's just some really weird terrain right here. All right. Come on now, Cyclops. It's so bizarre because it looks like there's plenty of space, but there really isn't, I guess. Those pieces, like those coral tubes, they should just get destroyed by the Cyclops. They shouldn't inhibit my movement, but okay. All right, I'll keep going out this way. You know what I need to do is uh, activate the sonar and use this to kind of like try and figure it out. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, let's save it. I don't want to lose my ship. That would be sad. Okay. This ship was not cheap. This ship took a lot of materials to build, and I would be sad if I had to rebuild it. I can't lie about that. Yeah, you know what? I think... Maybe I just never visited Life Pod 19. For some reason. Because I don't have the data pad from it. So maybe I just skipped it. And was doing other stuff. Or maybe I thought it was too far away or too deep. I'm not sure. Oh man, that's brutal. Nice guy. Yeah, it's a good reminder to save it because things can get a little janky. Alright, here we go. Instantly, I hit something. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was pretty lucky, Nate, when I got the final fragment to build the Cyclops, that I had most of the stuff lying around. There's a video toggle on the right control. Oh. Oh, that's right. Like a camera? Oh, nice. And this is where the island is, right? This smoky section? It's like natural camouflage or something for it. Wow, this view is unreal, John. Thank you for reminding me of this. Oh, water's getting shallow, though. Oh, no, the water's not getting shallow. I'm just hitting that big guy. There it is. There's the island. All right, perfect. All right, let's try to get up here and get some stuff. Things that we can use. Oh, yeah, the island is floating indeed. Wow, look at that. Yeah, there's no connection to the bottom. I'm going to get a little bit closer and then just proceed on foot. Okay. All right. I'm going in. Yeah, I've I've scanned some of it, Nate, but maybe not. Maybe I'm like completely misremembering. Let's look around. Wow. We have multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Hey, point. Good evening, my friend. I did. I feel great about it. Let's look at our infection status. Infected is all it says. Oh, wow. Bam. Now, these guys... I've already run into uh, these dream boats a few times. Oh man, my battery. All right. Uh, Get out of here. Okay. All right, cool. Let's check things out. Grub basket. Hey, thank you, Point. Yeah, um, I don't know... This must not be the island. Is this the same island I was at before that, that had the alien laser connected to it? And I just didn't explore it very well? I think that's probably the case. But maybe not. Yeah, I believe that once you know where everything is. Oh, okay. Perfect. So that's... These guys are edible. Oh. So the bulbo tree sample, can I grow this indoors or is... So in my planters, I can put this in there? Perfect. 
I think everybody was telling me about this. Different island? Oh, okay. Well, then I somehow missed this island altogether. I think I never visited Life Pod 19. I think I just got distracted and forgot about it. And there's so much to do in the game that I never came this way. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to grow it in the Cyclops to make food for myself. All right, perfect. What about these voxel shrubs? Are these good? Can you eat them? Perfect point. Yeah, well, we're finding a great place then. People have been telling me about this island for a long time. Uh, in different iterations. Oh, look at that. Is that the Del is that a Delgasi base up there? Yeah, people have been telling me about melons and potatoes for a long time. Like, that's the endgame food solu solution. But I haven't found this island yet. So, fantastic. Jaffa Cup. Wow, there's a ton of stuff on this place. Holy smokes. Lantern tree. Look at this. It's just scan after scan. Man. Unreal. Oh, there it is, everybody. Exterior grow bed. I've been looking for this forever. Oh, come on now. You don't have to do that. Yes. Marble melon plant. Exterior grow bed. Holy smokes. Chinese potato. Yes. So this is what these people who lived here were growing as their form of sustenance. Cut the melons for the seeds. Okay. Let me first of all uh, just... Oh, I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> I got to eat the melon, actually. I'm, gonna, I'm running low on uh, water, of all things. Let's get some more melons. Stasis rifle fragment. I've actually got the stasis rifle already. Uh, but, okay. You lived off Marble Melon, your last playthrough point? See, this is me not knowing anything about the game. Feeling embarrassed. Get out of here. Okay. I have a lot of, I have some more of these purple things. I don't know how many of these you need. That's a grow bed on their wall. Uh, we can probably use this. Oh, get real. Nobody likes you. Maybe we can blast this stuff out of the way. It doesn't actually look like it. I'll have to come in from a different side. Oh, the voxels are just cosmetic? Okay, I thought maybe I could eat them. That is a shame. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good thing to know. What you can and can't use. Bulkhead. Oh, cool. Wow, this is a good scan. Bulkhead door. Nice. Okay, cool. And, all right. Oh, here's the PDA. I'm going to need to go back in there and get that. Okay. Oh, get out of here, you jerk. Here's a PDA right here. Delgasi voice log. Perfect. Oh, here's another one. 
Paul Torgel's log. All right. I almost instantly teleported up here. I know. Jerk spider, Rua. Wow. Uh, it doesn't look like it wants to let me go up there like that. But anyway, I know there's a PDA over here. Perfect. Integrating new PDA data. We got new PDA data. Hey, it's a great game. I don't see why not play it. And now there's another base up there, it looks like, if I can make it. This is something I'm not good at in the game, which is understanding how to traverse, uh, you know. Oh, I bet I can climb up this way. Let's go this way. The ex you, you spend so little time, you know, outside like this. I'm normally in the water. Oh, look, there's a little cave. Okay. Wow. Alright, so there's the Aurora. And then... Interesting. Uh, maybe not the right way to do that. I know. I'm trying to Skyrim it, for sure. Just constantly jump. That double jump is killing me. Oh, no. I don't want to fall to my doom. Okay. Spectred Rattler. Right. What is this? Okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, sort of. I sort of see a path. I'm I'm following what wants to be a path. Here we go. Here we go. This looks like a death trap. It's working. I'm making progress. Pink cap. I'll take one of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, look at this. They got the melon right here. So this is the one you're saying... Maybe you have to have the big melon to get the seed. And now we found another abandoned... PDA with their cool little like observation room but other than that all right let's check it out let's uh listen to the stuff from Delgasi A godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up. But I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? 
Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Huh. So this guy was like happy to be on the island. And the other people were like, let's go swimming. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, hey, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food? from the air I know how to prioritize I'm just saying if that's so what's your boy's life worth to you today if tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like let him go deal with the plants son go deal with the plants Bart's Torgo has disembarked the habitat interfere with my family again and when rescue arrives I will leave you Wow. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Look at my sea moth out there. And my, uh, cy my, uh, cyclops looks great. Integrating new PDA data. All right, we got new data. Vital signs stabilizing. And let's check it out. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Lantern fruit. Edible. Delicious. Eat it. Alright. Okay, so we found some more Delgasi habitats. We've looked at the two ones that are the highest up. And Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Oh, God. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. Oh. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Wow. Everything's going great with the Delgasi. No problems. Inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks. Whoa. Don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. If he wants to stay in this cave, his problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. <laughs> Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. Wow. So I'm is that deeper. my plan? I'm going to find what shot us down and I'm going to tear its damn heart out. 
It actually sounds like Scrooge McDuck, almost identically. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Wow, she's planning on her... Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Mott, and Mida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Mott to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken our life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This Welcome planet won't cause us any new problems. Our one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. And yes. Part of space that could be months. They will be here. Years. Trust me. They're coming. Oh, man, it's really interesting to learn about the friction on the other group that got crash-landed here. And I almost feel good that I haven't found anyone else and that I've been able to do this without people drama. I mean, look at this. We just built this giant thing out of parts that we found lying on the ocean floor. So we're not doing so bad. Awesome. I know. It's, it's like, not just Scottish. It's clearly Scrooge McDuck. So, everybody, we have now the Cyclops. We found the floating island. We explored. We've got a bunch of PDAs to check out. We scanned things here. We can start growing uh, more and more food to power up our Cyclops operation and explore more of the game and we will get into that next time everyone i want to thank you so much for coming out for the stream it's time for me to go to sleep i hope you all have an excellent evening or day and i will check you next time crab derekai nate john neo ori lance Nice guy. T money. Captain Duck. Point. Everyone. Have a good one. Take care.